Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the get names method or function in system in the system uh, namespace and the enum class. Now if you remember from the last tutorial, we used uh, get values. In this tutorial we're using get names. Now it's not necessary that you know what we did in the last tutorial, but it'll probably help you. So um other than get values, there's get names and get name. So we'll go ahead and just create a little demo for this. Now you can see that we have list enum names, and we created that in the last tutorial for a purpose. So we're going to list the names of the uh, items in our enumeration. So we're gonna just, we're just going to use a for each loop for this. So for each item as, and since we're using the name we're going to go ahead and use string instead of integer because the items are string so in and now we're going to use the system namespace dot enum dot get names now you can see there's get names and get name we're going to be using get names and we will talk about get names at I mean get name after this so now what we're going to do is we are going to get the type of sports so get type and sports Sports. and we'll go ahead and press enter and now what we're going to do is we're going to type list enum names dot items dot add and we'll add item and we don't need to convert that to a string because it already is a string so let's go ahead and run this and see what kind of results we get so let's go ahead and select sport we'll select football and it'll say your sport is football we get the values which is 0, 1, and 2 and the names which is baseball, basketball, and football and you can see that these match up to the corresponding values if we go ahead and scroll up to the enumeration here and show the application you can see baseball is 0, basketball is 1, and football is 2 now we can do this with any other value and it's going to give us the same results now you can see that it, it continues to add it to the list so we can go ahead and do make a simple fix for this so we'll come down here below combo sports and we'll type private sub clear list clear list okay and inside of this we'll just type list enum names dot items dot clear and list enum values dot items dot clear so this is just going to clear the items and we need to call that each time button analyzes click and that needs to be the first thing so it doesn't clear it after the um, the stuff has been added so let's go ahead and run this and you can see that we can pick any sport let's do basketball this time analyze the sport it gives us the uh, everything right here the names of the enumeration and the values inside of it and we can do football click analyze sport and we get the same things so now we can use what's called get name now what this does is instead of just getting all of the names of the enumeration we can get a single one so to do this we're going to use everything the same as we used for get names but instead of just having one argument we're going to need two so we're going to have the enum type and we're going to use get type of sport so it'll get the type for us and we need the value and the value would be either 0, 1, or 2 so we can go ahead and let's say we'll put the value 2 in so it's going to get the name of the value 2 in enumeration sports so if we run this we're going to go ahead and click football and we'll analyze sport and we get football right here now you can see that it um, prints out every single letter and now the reason it does this is because um, the name of it is split up into different parts now what we can do is we can declare a variable right here um, let's do well we'll declare a variable outside of this so dim uh, name as string and we'll just go ahead and do 
name plus equals item. And now we'll, we'll take this out of here and do it after the for loop. And we'll just add name instead of item. And we'll just set this equal to nothing. So it'll quit complaining to us. So now if we run this, we can go ahead and analyze a sport. So let's select one, analyze sport, and we get football. So um, go ahead, work a little bit with get names and get name. Um, and once you've got that down, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. And thanks for watching.